Bzzz. The sound you hear when bees aren't around doesn't come from their mouths. You hear it because they're beating their wings while flying really fast. When they're in the air, their wings make vibrations the human ear recognizes as buzzing. It's especially loud when it comes to smaller insects. Bigger bees have slower wing beats, which means the pitch of the buzzing gets lower. Insects buzz to get pollen off the flower as they move their bodies and wings. The pollen then attaches to the bee. It flies towards the next flower and deposits the pollen there. This process is called pollination. You will also hear buzzing when they're defending their hives or themselves, especially if you get too close to a bee in its natural habitat. This buzzing sound is like some kind of a warning to move away or get ready to face the angry bee. Ouch! That was a painful one. But hey, what? Ouch! Was that another sting? In that case, it's not a honeybee. A honeybee can only sting once. When it does, you can see the small stinger protruding on your skin. Once that's done, the bee can no longer pull the stinger back out. Since the stinger has nerves, muscles, and is part of the bee's digestive tract, the bee doesn't survive. Yellow jackets are a type of wasp that doesn't have such a problem. They will sting you multiple times, as much as possible. Unlike plenty of bees, yellow jackets have a stinger without a barb. It's no fun being around them or running into their nests, which provides home to thousands of jackets, or up to 50,000 in just one summer. They don't produce the buzzing sound like bees either. That happens because of differences in their behavior. Bumblebees and honeybees fly from one flower to another and gather pollen and nectar, which is also food for the colonies. If you see them flying around at grass level, they're probably collecting food they'll later take to their nest. Yellow jackets aren't that much into flowers, so they don't need to shake their wings as intensively as bees. They don't transfer or collect pollen. These wasps are predators that prefer spiders, insects, and decaying fruit. If you're having a picnic with a basket full of tasty food, get ready for an unwanted visit. Cover the food to keep them away. Their most active time is late summer and early fall. Jackets start their colony in the spring. The lone queen does it by herself. She needs to survive the harsh winter conditions first, after which she lays eggs. The colony then grows through spring and summer. When the winter comes, the old queen is done with her work, so she can now pass the crown to the new queen that will start the next cycle. None of the other wasps survive either. Both yellow jackets and bees have black and yellow bodies and are almost the same size. Bees are more hairy and chunky, while yellow jackets are not that furry or fat. They're more smooth and slender. Wasps also have a waist. It attaches their abdomen to the thorax, the body part between the midsection and the head. Honeybees live in tree holes in nests beekeepers provide them with. Jackets prefer to make their nests in exposed pipes, holes, in walls, old furniture, or even below the ground. They find some old rodent burrows and often make their nests in lawns on spots with no grass, so it's easier to accidentally step on them or disturb them with a lawnmower. Yellow jackets are way more aggressive and fierce than bees since they're predators and have a really strong instinct to protect their nests. They tend to go after people for violating their peace and will follow you over a long distance if necessary. They'll pass all obstacles and wait for their moment. If you're running away from them, don't go into the water and dive in because they'll be patiently waiting for you to run out of breath to take their revenge. Don't run in panic waving your arms around because they'll probably be faster and way more frustrated as they see you as a threat. Just raise your hands and protect the eyes first, then slowly start moving away. Honeybees sting when they really don't have another choice. They're not mean by their nature. Neither they nor wasps are hostile if they don't feel threatened. Yellow jackets are way easier to provoke than bees. When they see something they find dangerous coming towards, they release certain chemicals that alert the family, so they'll chase you. Wasps can make a nest from paper. First, they chew up pieces of bark and then spit it out, which is how they make a paper rougher. They all look the same to us, but wasps can recognize each other by identifying unique facial patterns they all have. They come in crazy colors, including green, blue, red, and orange. The smallest insect in the world is a parasite wasp, often called a fairy fly. Male wasps are blind, don't have wings, and they're only 0.005 inches long. 
There are over 30,000 species of wasps, but two groups in general. Social wasps live in colonies, and solitary wasps prefer to have their nests on their own and live alone with their young. Social wasps use the stingers as a way to defend themselves. Solitary wasps use them for hunting, together with the venom they have inside. Solitary wasps aren't into stinging people and won't go after us. They help humans by taking care of insect populations on their plates. Mud dauber wasps are close relatives to ants. The ants started out as some sort of predatory wasp themselves. But ants are even more related to bees than to social wasps, and they all have the same family tree. They have spread all over the Earth's dry land, populating virtually every imaginable ecosystem. There are more than 10,000 trillion ants on our planet at any moment. One study of a Brazilian rainforest says the overall mass of the ants that lived in that area was around four times bigger than the mass of all reptiles, mammals, and amphibians together. Ants are social creatures that live in pretty big colonies. They cover different roles, defending the nest, looking for food, rearing their young, or building nests. Not only their cousins can make a painful sting, ants are fierce too. Bullet ants have the most painful sting of them all, and they live in humid jungle areas like the Amazon. Fire ants wreak billions of dollars worth of damage every year. The total amount includes the cost of medical and veterinary bills to treat their bites. They might be tiny, but have a pretty painful bite that makes you feel like your skin is burning. That's how they got their name. Some bugs out there can only live for a couple of days or even hours, but ants are among the longest living insects. The queen ant of some species lives up to 30 years. They are some of the world's strongest animals, considering their size. A single ant lifts and carries a burden that's 50 times its body weight. They appreciate teamwork, so you'll often see them working together to move some bigger objects. Ants live on all continents except for Antarctica. Same as their cousin wasps. Ants don't have ears. Instead of listening, they feel vibrations coming from the ground. Some don't even have eyes, so they communicate with others using the antennae. Also, they send messages to each other over chemical signals they release through the body. They leave trails of chemical signals that lead to some food sources or to attract a partner. They also send out warnings when they sense there's danger nearby the same way. Their biggest nest ever discovered was more than 3,700 miles wide. It was found in 2000 in Argentina. 33 ant populations got together and created one enormous super colony with millions of nests and billions of ants working and living there. 